Hi friends, today we will discuss about transfer function. When it comes to control system, the first thing we come across is transfer function. So what basically a transfer function is? In simple words we can say that it's the ratio of output to the of a system to the input of a system in Laplace domain. We cannot do it in time domain. Here we have to assume all our initial conditions to be zero. The transfer function is denoted as HS or GS. HS is the closed loop transfer function and GS is our open loop transfer function. We will discuss it in upcoming videos. Now, the expression of the transfer function is HS equals to YS by XS. YS is the output in Laplace domain and XS is the input in Laplace domain. One more thing is that for writing the transfer function, the system must be a linear time invariant. Else, we cannot find the transfer function. Let us take some example. It is a simple RC circuit. For finding the transfer function, we need to apply KVL. We cannot do this in time domain since there are frequency dependent terms. Therefore, we need to convert them into impedances by doing Laplace transform. Here are some basics of Laplace transform which we will need. So the most important thing in finding the transfer function is that to identify input and output. Here VIT is our input and V0T our output. So our required transfer function is VI v0t by vit now we have to convert all these parameters into laplace domain so vit will be transferred to vi of s v0t will be v0 of s r will remain as r only c will be 1 by sc and the current in this loop will be i of s so if i write the kvl equation vi of s equals to r into is plus 1 by sc into is this is our first equation the second equation will be v0 of s equals to 1 by sc into i of s so i of s from here is sc into v0 of s putting the value of is in equation 1 we will get vi of s equals to r plus 1 by sc into sc into v naught s so what do we need about uh, transfer function we need v0 s by vi of s so v0 s by vi of s equals to 1 by 1 plus rsc we got our required transfer function now let us take one more example Here also we, need, we have to do the same thing. We need to convert all the parameters into Laplace domain. So for that VIT is VI of S, IT is I of S and C is 1 by SC. First of all we have to find which is our input and which is our output. In this example VI of S is our input and I of S is our output. So we have uh, so our required transfer function is IS by vi of s now applying K, uh, kvl in this loop we will get vi of s equals to 1 by sc into i of s plus r into i of s so from here i of s by vi of s equals to 1 by 1 plus sc plus r equals to 1 plus RSC so this is a uh, required transfer function so friends now we know how to write the transfer function here are few more examples so you can refer to this Some of the important things which we can get from a transfer function is that we can find poles, zeros, stability of the system, types and order also. We will see all these in the upcoming videos. So friends, if you have any queries, please write it in the comment section. And if you like this video, please like, comment and share. Please do subscribe Amra Backbenchers. Thank you.